Jinxia province of China, uh, where it's close to the Inner Mongolia and the Shanxi and Gansu provinces. Uh, you could not imagine how cold it is now here. We have minus 20 degrees, then we bury the rice. Uh, my father studied landscape of Ninja 20 years ago and he studied planting the viticulture in our region. He found that he is perfect condition to make a quality wine for China. So he sent me to Bordeaux for study onology. When I came back 2007, we studied our own wine um, with our uh, passion and family. So Ningxia climate, what is it? It's a very uh, dry climate. It's near the desert. And it's on the altitude of 1,200 meters above, meaning with a lot of sunshine and radiation, always sweet fruit and organic vegetables. It's very famous goat berry, you know, it's come from our region. And the date. Um, meanwhile, during the winter time, it's very cold, and the difference temperature between day and night is big. So, meaning the cool night with a cool breeze can uh, keep the uh, acidity of these wines, which is very interesting for me. Both white wine, Pinot Noir, and Cabernet Sauvignon or Marbec. Um, the soil of our region is quite interesting. I'm very proud about it because it's a Hulan mountain, a very ancient mountain since uh, 2 billion years ago. And this minerality gives us a freshness of the wine and a very good structure of soil permit the root getting the depth. We now planted 70 hectares on the eastern slope of Hula Mountain. It's a flat near the um, alluvium soil, have a different kind of mineral. We have the limestone from the ancient ocean uh, of Ice Age and the glacial teal uh, from the flooding water because the mountain has the snow and the, every spring we have a uh, flooding water bring down all these degraded stones like uh, pedals or bigger stone like a uh, uh, very silicon component uh, stones then we have also the quartz and the glacial teal uh, rocks from the mountain so with the different inclination and different wind direction, we have two separate vineyards called Jinshan and Xianyingzi. They are nine kilometers from each other. So we could plant it uh, not only Cabernet Sauvignon, our flagship wine summit made from, but we experiment also some cold climate, uh, right, like a Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, then we try also some Marbeck, some Javesi, to understand better our soil. We are um, artisanal limited production with passion within family. Finally, we taste the, the last one, Emma's Reserve Silver High. This is my prod. I call this cherry on the cake, cream of the cream. Uh, we don't produce every year, only the best vintage. And let me tell you something about the name, why it's called Silver Heights. Silver is our region, Yinchuan, capital of Ningxia. Because of a lot of sunshine, it makes land, everything's like white silver. Then heights because of high altitude, also because of our family name, Emma Gao. Gao is heights. Let's taste it. Mm. I love this nuance of helicopters and spices, mint.
rich and elegant. Very good tenor, but harmoniously well integrated. We aged in the oak 24 months, 100% new oak. Still young ones, as I tell you, we planted 2012, um, but it shows a big potential of this one. I think you'll love it. Cheers, my dear friend. My dear friend, I thank you for your great attention for this. I invite all of you to come to Ninsha to discover a beautiful landscape, small but a diversity of desert, yellow river, Hula mountain, a lot of lakes, the birds immigrate here and make a lot of uh, happiness as you do. Uh, it's not easy for the moment with the epidemic. I hope to see you soon in our charming place, the lost heaven in Ningxia. Let the family go to welcome you and enjoy your wines. Thank you.